Today you're going to be taking some basic notes on the water cycle. Another name that scientists use for the water cycle is the hydrologic cycle. Hydro meaning water. The water cycle is a never-ending cycle um, that the water goes through on Earth. And there are particular steps to the water cycle that you're going to need to know. Key terms for the water cycle are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and runoff. An additional term that you might want to know about is transpiration. And we're going to be talking about those today. So the water cycle, what, what I'd like you to do is get out a sheet of notebook paper and either write these terms out on the notebook paper or watch this video on maybe a separate device like your phone and then fill out the water cycle notes exactly as I have them. So just copy them down into Notability on your iPad. So either you can get like a pencil or a marker and write it on a sheet of notebook paper and then take a picture and submit the assignment or you can do it in Notability. So the water cycle has some main parts and this is a very simple one. So what you're going to be doing is drawing this out. So what I would suggest is that you start with and let me get a different color so you can see it. How about a highlighter? We're going to start with um, drawing some water down at the bottom of your um, your model here. So right here, you're going to go ahead and draw some water across. So I'm going to go down here and show you what to do. So you're going to get some blue and just start by drawing some water across. Okay. And then what happens next is this process called evaporation right there. So let's go down. You have your water and what happens is when molecules get heated up sometimes by the sun or some other process but it's usually by some type of energy causing the water to um, become super excited and the molecules start bouncing together and they get a lot of energy and they escape from the water in the form of water vapor. Woo, water vapor. You don't have to write that down. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, and that water goes up into the atmosphere. If you've ever um, seen your breath in the winter, that's water vapor. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to write evaporation. Okay, so write those notes down. So we've got water vapor. Okay, so what you're going to draw is a line or an arrow going up into the atmosphere or into the air. And then next to it, you want to write the word evaporation. Because that's one part of the water cycle, evaporation. Okay. 
Now, when water vapor condenses on little pieces of dust and other particles in the atmosphere, we get what are clouds. And clouds are part of the water cycle. Clouds, when the water comes together and forms on little pieces of dust and particles in the atmosphere, is called condensation. So C O N D E N S A T, see if I can fit it, I O N, condensation. And that's another part of the water cycle. So we've got evaporation, condensation. Looks like I lost my water there. Okay. Now the next thing that happens, so I'm going to scroll back up here. So we've taken care of evaporation, condensation, which is right there. So what happens next? Well, the clouds have to release that water vapor that has condensed in the form of clouds on little particles, and it falls, you know, rain, like we've had in the last couple days. So we get rain coming from the clouds. Actually, rain, snow, sleet, or hail. All of those are considered to be, so you're going to write this down, Precipitation. So you've drawn evaporation, condensation. Now we're going to take and draw some little things, little pieces of rain coming from the, so, or maybe snow. Um, maybe little pieces of hail coming from the clouds. And that rain comes down. And we have to draw some land. So let's draw like a little cliff runoff area by the side of this water. And I'm just going to go in there and erase this. Oops, I erased my water. And then I'm going to draw a little tree in here because we have, well, let's draw some plants and a tree. So draw a tree. A happy little tree, as Bob Ross would say. Maybe some plants on this hill that goes down to this water. Because what happens is, when it rains, so let's make some more rain coming down. When it rains, that water goes downhill and back into your larger bodies of water, which would include rivers, streams, lakes, ponds, and even oceans. Well, what this is called when the rain, sleet, snow, or hail comes down is called precipitation. So let's write that in P. I'll make this a little R E C pre sip I P I T a, T, and precipitation. I'm going to try to move this around a little bit. Okay. See how that looks. Okay. So we have evaporation. condensation, precipitation, and remember that precipitation, let's put a little asterisk by, asterisk by it, because precipitation can include, and let's put a little note down here at the bottom, rain, sleet, snow, or hail, or any other form of water that comes from the clouds. 
And then finally, in our simplified version of the water cycle, make sure to title your notes. In our simplified version of the water cycle, we're going to have runoff. So runoff is when this water flows down. R-U-N-O-F-F. -F. Runoff. Okay? Runoff is when that water flows down and back into your larger bodies of water. Now there's one last thing we're going to add. And that's sometimes, like, um, I think it's usually at night that plants give off water vapor into the atmosphere. Okay, and when they do that, when plants give off water vapor, that's called transpiration. T-R-A-N-S-P-I-R-A-T-I-O-N. And you have completed your water cycle notes. So copy these down as best you can and then submit them to the assignment that I have posted in Schoology. So you can either copy this one if you like that one better or you can copy my second notes on the water cycle. They're basically the same thing. If you have any questions, let me know, message me, and have a wonderful day.